These rats are part of a mine detection training unit in Tanzania, sniffing out the smell of explosives. They're named John Stewart and Stephen Hawking. And like the namesakes, these giant rats are out of the ordinary. In these boxes, we have buried uh, landmines, so the rat has to pass and sniff. And whenever find the smell of a TNT over that landmine, he has to scratch strongly and the trainer will click and give a reward. Every year, landmines kill 15,000 to 20,000 people, most of them children. By deploying these rats, Belgium NGO Apopo has already neutralized more than 80,000 landmines in countries like Angola, Mozambique and Cambodia. Uh, in terms of uh, 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 landmine uh, operation, they are weightless. Uh, they have uh, weight, less weight to detonate even uh, live mines. So you can work them in any type of mines without any problem. In a nearby laboratory, Violet and Oprah are moving from test tube to test tube, sniffing out the smell of tuberculosis. A purpose fiery force are being deployed to diagnose the disease which kills more than a million people a year. We increase with an average of, of, of 40 percent over the hospital results. So that gives a good yield of extra positive patients and by doing so, so far we have uh, already found 10,000 patients which were uh, returned negative by hospitals and those people of course go home, they continue infecting other people. Um, so indirectly I think we have, we have saved more than 10,000 people. One rat alone can screen 100 samples in 20 minutes compared to a lab technician who will take 4 days. But despite their successes against both landmines and TB, the Apopo team are sitting back. Their next mission for these rodents to detect cancer.